boxes. Assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a cartoon cramaganza. Take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hey, hey, Kablummixes. Thanks for billing up to another thigh jiggling episode of Kablam! Like a vault, Henry. That opening dance sucked the kishkis right out of me. You're telling me, June. I'm ka-pooped. What's that? Just a memo. Something about the producers making us take a physical fitness test. Take a what? If you fail to pass the Kablam physical fitness test, you will be retired as hosts of the show? There's no way we can pass. Look at us. We're extra wide loads. Wait. I know someone who can help us. He'll whip our bloated bottoms into shape. All right. Let's go for it. Uh, how about you turn the page? I got the last one. Please, you're closer. What are you talking about? Come on, I'm tired. I opened the memo. <sighs> Dateline, Action League Testing Center. To renew their action hero licenses, our heroes face an excruciating, exhausting exam. The first grade equivalency test. Time's up. Hand in your answer sheets. Moments later... Thunder Girl, pass. Chief, pass. Stinky Diver, pass. Meltman, pass. Justice, pass. <laughs> I guess that's it. No, wait. The Flesh, fail. Hooray for me! Sorry, Flesh, but I have no choice but to ask you for your badge. Why? Did you lose yours? No, you bonehead! Don't you get it? You're out of the Action League! Huh? What? <laughs> Action League, now. Today's episode, The Naked and the Dumb. We find our heroes at Action Headquarters trying to solve the mystery behind Flesh's failure. Blimey, the moron marked his answers in the shape of a cat! I did not! I knew he couldn't be that stupid. I made a little kitten. Oy. I'm sorry, Flesh. I don't like it any more than you do, but rules are rules. You'll have to leave now, big fella. Oh, jeez. Wait, Chief. We need the Flesh. None of us has super strength. Oh, yeah? Watch and be amazed. Uh, are you amazed yet? Bill, there must be some way the Flesh can stay in the league. There's nothing I can do. Unless, of course, he retakes the test and passes it. And there is nothing you can do. Wait, we can help him study. Let's do it. Good idea. And so the Action League tutors a disrobed dingbat. Two, three, four birdies. Now how many birdies are left if you take away one? Let's see. Ow! Eleventy-five? Close enough. I think our work here is done. Now you draw a triangle, Flesh. Funsies! Now, let's see. Should I put the ruler here? Ow! Oh, just anywhere's fine. See? Stinky, now write your name. Okie dokie. Or... Oh! After a week of intensive care, er, study, 
the league finally gives the flesh what he needs to pass his exam. Woo! I'm all over this test. Looks like the test is all over you, cheat notes flesh. Blast it, Bill! It's a big dope's only chance of passing. Sorry, league regulations. No cheat notes. But I used them. Uh, didn't. Don't worry. You guys learned me real good. Ah! Begin. Will the flesh best the test and make the grade? First grade? Or was all his schooling for squat? Find out in the action tutored conclusion of Action League. Boy, that flesh is cut like a deli tray. He'd pass the Kablam physical fitness test no problemo. So where's that friend of yours who's gonna get us into shape anyway? Henry! Oh, Henry! Your aroma-sizing angel has arrived, baby! Richard! Thanks for coming so quickly. Henry, I didn't know you knew Richard Simmons. <laughs> yeah, we met at the Circus of the Stars. Yeah! I've arrived just in the nick of time! You sure did. June and I are gonna get canned if we don't pass this dumb fitness test. Don't fret, cutie! I've assisted millions of people shed over 10,000 combined tons. I've even helped a big fat whale. Richard? Named Shamu. Well, don't just sit there. Get off those tushies. It's time to sweat off those pounds. Come on! Exercise is your friend! Exercise is fun! Woohoo! Let's aerobicize! Yeah! Exercise is fun! That's the spirit, sisters! Say no to flab! Come on, kids! Get up off your butts, turn off your TVs, and exercise! Richard, no! no. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 404, softball. to come, Life with Loopy, Emmett Freedy. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Action. 
Action League. Now, the flesh of flunk out. The league flung about. Will the naked one pass? There's doubt. Eggs are done. A lot of doubt. But as they await the results, the loyal league never loses hope. I get dibs on his desk. I get his parking place. I get his thigh master. Unbelievable. In all my years of science. What is it, Bill? He got every answer right. All right! All right. Go. Come on. So, Flesh, I guess we did teach you something. You sure did. The kitten I drawled was bad. So this time, I made a little doggy. Ruff, ruff. The <laughs> end. Ow. I wish we didn't have to take that Kablam physical fitness test. Oh, my aching muscles. Henry, pass the mentholated balm. Up, up, up. Time for some aerobics. Richard, we already did aerobics. Not with ankle weight. We're too sore to work out right now. Beside, before we exercise, we need a nutrition break. Good idea. Nutrition is an important part of any health regimen. Henry, June, stop it. Stop it right now. Do you know what you're doing to your body? All that junk food is worse than this bucket of greasy, disgusting bacon fat. A smart diet is a balanced diet. That means plenty of whole grains, fresh fruits and veggies, and lean... Mmm, bacon, bacon fat. fat. My goodness! Stop that! You're eating my crop! Hi, Larry here. Everybody knows the world's running low on oil and coal and stuff like that, right? Well, last week our science class project was to invent an alternative way of making energy. Now, normally, science isn't my strong suit, but I gotta tell you, this project had got me totally inspired. What's up, Battery Boy? Hey, what are you doing with my hamster? Solving the world's energy crisis. Edison here is a vital part of my alternative power generator. Well, you won't power a peanut unless Edison moves his furry paws a little faster. Hmm, maybe he needs a nutritious breakfast to pep him up. Here you go, Edison. Try some iron-fortified, vitamin-enriched, sugar-frosted fruity flakes. There you are. Just the people I wanted to see. Here, grab these. You can give me a hand fertilizing the rutabagas. Well, by the time we were done revitalizing Dad's vegetable patch, it was getting pretty late. Solving the energy crisis could wait until the next day. Or so I thought. My rutabagas are ruined! And my generator's totally trashed! Hey, wh where's Edison? I don't know, bro, but here's a pretty big clue. That power breakfast must have been more potent than I thought. Take a look at this. I think it was the dessert that made the difference. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. A giant hamster has wreaked havoc in the downtown area this morning and is said to be heading for the county fairground. The public is advised to remain in their homes. Halt! And where do you kids think you're going? Let us through. I've got to find my hamster. No need to worry, little lady. Situation's under control. Yes, sir -y. We're gonna blow that mangy furball to smithereens! Edison, no! Hey, that's my science project, pal. Ah! So there you are. Come on, Edison. Move those big, hairy hamster cheeks. The army's gonna be here any second. Target within range. Lieutenant, order all squadron leaders to stand by for initial strike. Ah, I love the smell of popcorn in the morning. There you go. That's it. Follow the popcorn. Hey, wait! Where are you going, you big lummox? Oh, no, they're here. Get out of there, Edison. This is no time to play. Wait! 
light bulb. If I can just reverse the flow on this generator. Squadron leaders, on my orders. Ready, take aim, and... General, wait, stop, look! See, General, Edison's not a menace. He's the biggest, furriest source of electricity this side of the Hoover Dam. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. Just wait till the boys in the energy department hear about this. So now, thanks to Edison, our entire town's being powered by a totally alternative new energy source. Hamster power. As long as Loopy remembers to feed him his popcorn, that is. Kablam! 37? 38? 39? Woohoo! Hi, we're back and ready to whoop that fitness test. You sure are, June. Come on, Henry. Feel the burn. That's it. Believe yourself. 47. 48? You two should be ashamed of yourself. I took time off my busy schedule to help you out. And you. What kind of example are you setting for the children? Hey! My goodness! What foot speed! You mean anyone else at the Circus of the Stars? Well, may as well watch the world premiere of Emmett Freedy and come back for the grand finale for me and Henry. Oh, puffy dinks, eat em up nice. Oh, puffy dinks, a fat puff rice. It's puffy do dank delicious Yo, yo! Cereal songs. That's so immature, Emmett. Glad you liked it, sis. <laughs> Project, I built a full-scale nose with vibrating cilia and green mucus. What is a project? What project? A science project that's due today. Oh, no. I totally forgot. Ouch. Instant F. Sorry, Emmett. No way, Peel. I just need a good excuse. Know anybody that died? Next! Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, got one! Got one? Lice! Lice? <laughs> no, that's a puppy thing. He is a puppy little thing. We'll send him to the lab. And Mr. Lice Maker here? Straight home! Wait a second. I'm trying to tell you, that's a puppy thing. Home? Did you say home? Darn tootin'! Cover your heads, children! Lice boy coming through! How's he do that? I don't know. In the West, the Royals can clean everything I burn. This'll make you feel better, sweetie. My special liver and broccoli nachos. I'm not sick, Aunt Marie. They just thought I might have lice. Well, I need you, too. Mm, I feel better already. Can you keep a secret, Mr. Carpathios? Like the bank vault. I don't really have lice. No? Then what you got? The big tapeworm? Nothing. They found a stray puffy dink on my head. Thought it was lice and uh, sent me homeward bound. What could I do? I'm for sure that you did all that you could do, huh? That's right, Mr. Carpathios. I did all I could. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you pulled the wool over the faces. <laughs> now I got the whole day to relax and work on my science project. Inevitable. Reed Van Durken reporting live from the apartment building of Emmett Freedy. The more responsible for the current lice plague that threatens Akron. What the? Oh, there's that handsome Reed Van Durken. It's for him, it's a France! Lice gaps, get the lice gaps, two for ten bucks in your pocket. Let's put him in the rocket ship and, and light the fuse up. This is starting to weird me out, Emmett. Oh, I put a quick 
stop to this, Mr. Carpatios. I don't have lice. It was a puppy thing. Go home. What did he say? He said, I love lice, and you all stink. Trombone. Trombone? Who's he calling trombone? Better check this out, bro. Our first step is to pacify the lice breeding area. In layman's terms, it's time to shave on its head. Oh, come on now! Can't a guy have a decent scam anymore? <sighs> May as well go back to school and tell the truth. There goes an American hero. You hear me? You hear me? No, wait! Mr. Lombardi, please listen. I don't have lies. Won't somebody believe me? Hey, that's the guy. Lies guy. Emmett, can we talk to you before you're bald? Emmett, your friends came by to see how you were feeling. Run, Emmett. It's the setup. <laughs> Stop. Don't go. We got no quarrel with you, Emmett. This is between us and those lice. Oh, you want lice? Here's for lice! Ah! Oh, they're eating me. Hey, this isn't lice. It sure doesn't taste like lice. It tastes more like the puffy dinks. That's what I've been trying to tell you guys. Oh, Puffy Dinks. Eat, Eat them up nice. Oh, Puffy, puffy Dinks. Fat puff rice. It's Puffy Doo Doo Dang. Oh, delicious. delicious. Yo, yo. Has the whole planet gone completely immature? A breakfast bonnet protects the face and head area from RFBD, random flying breakfast debris. Allow me to demonstrate. Peel, toss the bacon. Huh? The bacon toss it. Oh, yeah. Ow, my eye. Another breakfast disaster successfully thwarted. Thank you. Music, Peel. Emmett, that was a wonderful science project. How'd he do that? Well, Kablamsters. We'll be taking our physical fitness tests any minute now. In other words, get a good look at us, because it's all over but the flunkin'. Henry, I know I might not always show it, but I'm gonna miss working with you. <laughs> me too, June. Give me a hug. <sighs> I wonder when that test is gonna happen. Yeah, where's the guy with the stopwatch and the whistle and the stationary bike? <laughs> Check it out! Kablam Physical Fitness Certificates! For successfully demonstrating the ability to withstand cartoon punishment. That's our fitness test? It's so easy! I know! <laughs> and, oh. and, 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 and that's it, Footy! All that hair is just hiding a beautiful body inside! And, 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 mm. Here we go. We'll be back for more cartoon punishment next time. Right here, Uncle Blam. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. <laughs>